I woke up this morning in a terrible mood. I was angry and irritable. I know why. I had a horrible dream and it's a recurring dream that keeps haunting me when all I want is a peaceful night's sleep. I have tried all sorts to try and relax in the evenings in the hope that I don't have this horrible dream again. I've tried meditating and yoga. I've even tried special bedtime teas and balancing on my head. None of it has worked. The dream is one I had as a child. It involves me being lost and scared in the middle of a maze and I'm not sure what to do or where to go. I walk around and around and end up back in the middle. Any option to escape is always the wrong one and I'm too small to try and see over the hedges. As I walk around the endless options of the maze, I'm shouting for help, but no sound is coming out. I feel helpless and then quickly become frustrated. I feel like I'm screaming into the void and no one cares. The dream often rears its ugly head when I'm having a stressful time. I used to have the dream a lot when I was a kid and had exams or if my parents were arguing. When they got divorced, I had the dream a lot. Sometimes I would be trapped in the maze and other times it would be a building. These days I have the dream when I feel frustrated with my daily life or if work is getting too much. It's so frustrating that my brain is trying to taunt me in this way and there seems to be nothing I can do to stop the maze from freaking me out in my dreams. It's silly, but the dream has actually made me a little afraid of mazes. I've been in a few with friends and I can always feel myself getting sweaty palms. My heart beats faster and I feel anxious. It's silly, I know, but I can't help it. I'm always scared I won't be able to get out and if I scream and wail, no one will care. I know why I'm having the dream at the moment. I kind of suspected that it would come back again. Maybe me wondering is what made it seep into my subconscious thoughts. So, I've had a few stressful things happen to me lately. The first big thing is that I'm moving house, so I've got lots of paperwork to do, which I always find irritating. The second thing is my dog passed away. I was so sad and it makes me even sadder to think that he won't be with me in my new home. And the third thing is that I'm not really enjoying my job. I mean, it's okay, but I don't love it. I think the dream is probably representing that I feel trapped in the job. I need the job to get a house, but then I'm staying in a job just to keep a house. It's an endless circle of feeling the need to do things and it makes me feel trapped. I feel like I'm in the middle of a maze in my life and there are so many options available to me and I don't know which one 
to take. I'm trying to take a step back and reassess my options, but it often feels quite overwhelming. I know I'm not the only one to feel like it. I think it's quite common nowadays, but it doesn't feel like it when I wake in the middle of the night, shaking after my awful nightmare. Life can be wonderful and I need to remember that. Maybe I just need to chill out a bit and stop worrying, but that's easier said than done, isn't it? Some of my friends are so relaxed. They're happy staying in the same jobs, living the same routine, and they don't worry about the future. I'm the opposite. I want to move up the career ladder. I don't want to feel stuck and trapped. Today I've decided that I will make a list of all the things I need to do in preparation for my move. Then I'll search online for new jobs that might excite me. I'm going to book a cheap weekend break away with my friends to celebrate my new home. My hope is that by setting some goals and having something to look forward to, that other opportunities might come my way. Let's see what happens and I hope I'll sleep better tonight. Let's go through some advanced vocabulary from this story. Chill. To chill. To chill is a verb and it means to make something cold. But to chill out is a phrasal verb and it means to relax. Irritable. Irritable. To be irritable is to become annoyed very easily. Recur. Recur. If something recurs, then it happens many times. Overwhelming. Overwhelming. If something is overwhelming, then it can be stressful and difficult to fight against. Now let's go through some intermediate vocabulary. Endless. Endless. If something is endless, then it has no end or limit. Haunting. Haunting. If something is haunting, it can make you feel sad and you can remember it for a long time. Rear. Rear. If something is at the rear, it is at the back of something. Represent. To represent. To represent is to be a sign or symbol of something. That's the meaning in this story. Suspected. Suspected. If something is suspected, it is believed to be true or to exist. Involve. Involve. Involve means to include. Stuck. Stuck. If something is stuck, it is unable to move or is set in a particular position or place. Trapped. Trapped. Trapped is similar to stuck and it means to be unable to get out of somewhere 